Come back to more on Henry Kissinger. Possibly there's so much to talk about. I want to move on to yeah. Mother Teresa. Aha, uh -huh, yes. You have a piece in here that uh, was in The Nation in April of 1992, and you call this the ghoul of Calcutta? Mm -hmm. Mother Teresa? Mother Teresa, the ghoul, the ghoul of Calcutta. Of Calcutta. Yeah. I, I always had a real doubt in my mind as to whether there really was this saintly person. And if you ask people, why do they think Mother Teresa is so great? They'll always say, well, isn't it true that she spends her time always you know, helping out the poor of Calcutta? But if they really push them, they don't know anything about her at all. They just take it on faith, as saints always are taken. So I went to Calcutta, actually for another reason. I thought, well, I'm there, I'll go and look her up. And I was rather appalled by what I found. I mean, she was, she showed me around her mission, and she announced that the purpose of the mission was to run a, a campaign in Calcutta, in Bengal, against abortion and contraception. Now, as it happens, I'm, I'm, I have my doubts about abortion. Uh, I find I'm very squeamish on the subject, but one thing that Calcutta definitely does not need is a campaign waged by an Albanian Catholic missionary against the limitation of the population. And it, it, it rather, to me, spoiled the effect of her charitable work, that she was saying, actually, this is not charity, it's, it's religious propaganda. Um, and I think the Vatican policy on population control is calamitous. Um, so that aroused my curiosity anyway. It had been a bit of a disappointment meeting her there. And I didn't like her manners, actually, particularly, either as she went around around, around among, excuse me, the poor. Then I found her turning up as the defender of the Duvalier family in Haiti, um, saying how lovely they were and how gentle and beautiful. Then I found her turning up as Charles Keating's personal best friend in the Lincoln Savings and Loan scandal, taking a lot of money from him for a private plane, giving him blessings and crucifixes in return. Then I found her turning up in Albania, where she's a supporter of a very extreme right uh, nationalist party. And quite a few other such things. And I thought, A, I don't like any of these things, singly or together. And second, when does she ever get time for the poor, old poor of Calcutta? She's forever on some scumbag's Learjet going around cashing in on the belie everyone else's belief that she's a saint. And, and I think this is probably how medieval religion was worked. But, but let's as, say as a con, people just, you know, you, you took the faithful as credulous and you reckoned that they would believe whatever you said. Let me just take her side for purpose of discussion. Well, let's say that she went to the Devalier family and got money, went to Charles Keating and got money, and moved it over to the poor. Wouldn't that be charity? And I, I don't think it's necessary for someone who's, who is supposedly consecrated to the mission of charity and who's world famous for it to ever have to beg for money. If she ever wanted it, she knows where to go for it. People would open their pockets and their, I think, their hearts. No, the fact is, um, I don't even know if she got any money from the Duvaliers. What she was doing was defending them as a dynasty in Haiti. And everyone knows what the record of the Duvalier family is in Haiti. She did get money from Keating, and I actually asked in my piece, you know, would she care, would anyone care to say what, that they know where it's gone? Because she must have known, or should have known, that that money doesn't belong to Keating and doesn't belong to her. It's stolen money. But okay, let her say. But the fact is, um, she was giving him in return various kinds of absolution in his campaigns. And I think this is because you know, he started off life as a morals cop. He was another of the prohibitionists. He began his career as an anti-pornography anti poser. She's, she's evidently, it seems to me, on, on call for people, dubious characters of this kind. I just thought it was worth pointing out. I, I can't tell you the mail I got about it. I mean, if you, if you touch the idea of sainthood, especially in this country. People feel you've taken something from them personally. Um, and I'm, I'm fascinated because, of course, we like to look down on other religious beliefs as being tribal and superstitious. I mean, Over never dare criticize our own. Over